Hello, this is Mr. Hop, and let's talk about CEA a little bit. Um, I started getting some of these uh, second uh, heat loss and gain uh, assignments in, and I saw that there were some issues, so let's make sure we go back and fix that. Um, and then also I want you to dig a little deeper. That's what we're here for. So one of the things you had to do in the assignment, I gave you the value for the wall at 14.13 and I showed you how to do that. You also had to do that for the roof. So you had to find the asphalt shingles, the roofing felt, the OSB, the R19 insulation, the gypsum, and we can even include the air film on the inside of the building. And this would be the the R value for the roof on the inside and that's what should have been here i saw that i saw some really strange numbers there uh also you uh, looked up the number for the door and the single glazed window again i'm sorry for not having the specifications in there until the last minute but they are in there so then my intent was that you set this up as a uh, calculation where this is one divided by this value and this would be equal to uh, 8 by 16 and 12 by 8 and that sort of thing plus the little triangle at the top that's like zone 12 for the base and 2.375 for the height and times one half and that sort of thing so uh, you should have an overall envelope square foot of um, 683 square feet somewhere in there when you're done okay uh, your temperature delta and I don't know if this is right I just plugged some numbers in it should be the inside temperature minus the design temperature this is going to be close I think uh, and then you calculate the BTU per hour by multiplying these three values together so you could do equals this times this times this or you could do equals product and then select those three uh, cells and then enter okay the beauty of this is is if I change this one to 16 then we get a recalculation so we're going to put 14.3 back 14.13 okay so that's kind of what you should see you should have seen a transmission load around 4,000 and that means you need to be able to heat at least that much some of you underestimated what your um, heater would need to do so we can go fix that we're going to fix some stuff okay so uh, these are the numbers you should be working with and I noticed that what some of you you zeroed in on getting a better door and getting a better window and the problem is is that only represents 58 square feet of a total of almost 700 square feet of space. Wouldn't it make more sense to tackle the walls, which give you 490, 419 square feet, or the roof that's 200 square feet, or both? So what? Because the thing is, look at our number here. 39, uh, 3900 is what we're bleeding out right now. I had to pause and rethink what I want to see here. So what I want you to do is you're going to not only change the door to something a higher R value and not only change the window to a higher R value. Uh, and I would also suggest you get outside of that R list. You can go find things outside like at Lowe's and Home Depot find some energy efficient doors and windows there's such a thing as a triple pane window which is super energy efficient uh, but i would also like you to reconsider the configuration of the wall and the ceiling what can you do to improve that could you uh, increase the uh, r factor on the insulation could you uh, add some different siding could you add some different uh, shingling and roofing material could you do something different on the interior could you use what would it benefit you to use a spray foam insulation that was three and a half inches thick and five and a half inches thick that sort of thing i want you to explore those kinds of things we want to get this transmission load number as down down as far as possible from about 4,000. So that's what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to split this assignment up into another chunk and then we'll have an, a second submission. So we're going to have a chunk where you report what the original wall is and what the original roof is. And then you go and find some materials that are alternate uh, and you're going to list out what you're changing from and to 
where you found it and the new R values and then give me the total transmission load for or the total R value for the wall for the ceiling and roof and for the door and for the window and then we are going to redo this so we can get a second uh, total transmission load so we have something more reasonable also go back and make sure that on your first pass that your total transmission load is about 3900 so if it's a little different that's all right all right that should do it thanks bye